The Center for Transparency and Advocacy CTA has urged the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to ensure that the many challenges that marred the credibility of the 2023 general elections are not repeated in the three half cycle governorship elections in November. The organization, however, observed that while it's crucial to acknowledge the hurdles faced during the February and March elections, Nigerians should also focus on the positives that emerged from the polls and ensure they are sustained. INEC had faced the Bayelsa, Imo, and Kogi state governorship elections for November 11, 2023. Speaking at the one day stakeholders roundtable on disinformation and misinformation before, during, and after the 2023 general elections in Nigeria on Friday, Executive Director of CTA Faith Wadishi observed that some citizens expressed concerns about the challenges that bordered the elections, such as logistical issues. When acknowledge this, that went on with the 2023 general election, we must not lose sight of the real gains of the elections. We witnessed electoral upset in regions that were considered strongholds of certain political parties, illustrating the evolving political landscape and the growing unpredictability of our electorate. New players were introduced into the electoral process, signaling a dynamic, inclusive, and constantly evolving political space. These developments are a strong message that our electoral process is not only functional, but we must all ensure that this continues steadily. In light of these conclusions, let us focus on acknowledging the positive aspects of elections and placing any encounter challenges within the appropriate context. By doing so, we can ensure a free, unbiased assessment of the electoral process why remain vigilant against those who seek to undermine our democracy? As we push closer to the off-season election in Imo, Bayasa, and Kogi states, we must ensure that the gains we have had with our electoral processes are not swept under the carpet. We must also not forget to call out the other stakeholders in the electoral process, the security agents. We need to have security so that citizens who come out to vote are protected. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.